Welcome to our channel and back to a new video. Today our topic, the Bosch Connect module. Brand new on the market this season, a small GPS tracker for the smart system on your Bosch e-bike. Today we want to look at what this module can do and, of course, how you can install it yourself, because it's not as difficult as it might seem at first. Generally speaking, we can start by explaining what the little device is actually able to do. You connect it to the motor, the Connect module itself contains a GPS tracker and a mobile phone module, which allows you to locate your e-bike at any time via the e-bike flow app. This means that you always know where your e-bike is, and, in addition, in the event of an attempted theft, an alarm system is integrated. In other words, if the integrated motion sensor detects that something is happening here, that it is locked, that it is secured because you are not nearby with your mobile phone, then the device triggers an alarm first of all. There is always a small warning tone to say, okay, this is secured, maybe it's just a bump on your bike. So nothing happens at first, but if the external impact continues, a really loud alarm is sounded. I think we will hear that in the video as well, hopefully. In addition, the tracking will start, and you will receive a notification on your smartphone. Attempted theft. You can immediately see where it is and of course, ideally, then call the police and say there's something wrong with my bike, it's probably being stolen. The Bosch Connect module is compatible with all Bosch Smart System e-bikes launched in 2022. Meaning all e-bikes with Bosch Performance Line CX Smart System and the Cargo Line Smart System motor as well as the Performance Line motor. It is important to distinguish there are still two different versions. The difference here is the mounting plate between the Gen 4 motors, the Performance Line CX and the Cargo Line that we have here, which is also already widely used, and the Performance Line motor, which still works on the Gen 3 in terms of design. You can easily tell by looking at the name of your motor and the logo sticker that is attached to it or by looking at the crank and chainring mount. On the performance line it is the Mini ISIS standard, and on the Gen 4 performance line CX, it is a normal ISIS standard. Today we are going to look at retrofitting the Connect module to the Bosch performance line CX GEN 4 motor, which in our opinion, is the most widely used motor of the smart system currently on the road, and certainly the most popular motor. So we will look at this in detail today. For this you need a 20mm Torx screwdriver. And the connect module itself with the matching plate this should be considered when ordering. And you also order it for the Performance Line CX. A small mount, or rather it's just a rubber stop, which is then attached to the motor. The corresponding fastening screw for the connect module. A short display cable, with which we can then connect the connect module, of course. The e-bike flow app on your mobile phone already paired with your e-bike. And that's all the things you need for retrofitting. A quick word about the difference if you have a performance line smart system motor. The mount looks slightly different, it has to be glued to the mounting plate. Otherwise, the steps for connecting are completely the same, it's only the mount that's different because the motor's housing is constructed slightly differently. Before we start, of course, we have to turn on the e-bike. This is a completely new bike. So we have to connect the e-bike flow app to the e-bike first, and switch it on. Then we open the e-bike flow app on our mobile phone and it will tell us what to do next. When you open the e-bike flow app for the first time, you will see that you can now connect an e-bike. Simply press connect now and select the type of control unit you have. In our case, this is the classic LED remote. We are close to our e-bike and just have to press the on off button until the LED remote starts flashing and you can see the pairing on the Kayax 300 display. Now we just wait until this works. Permit Bluetooth pairing. 
and everything has worked and we are ready to go. We have connected the eBike Flow app with our new eBike and can now proceed with the further installation of the Connect module. Of course, it is also possible to install the Connect module first. But many of you already have the e-bike and want to retrofit it, therefore, we first connect the app, so we can check all the settings here, and then we will look at how the installation and retrofitting of the connect module works in detail. For the installation of the connect module, in this case, for the KTM Makina Sport 720, we only need this TOR X20 screwdriver, with which we will first remove the motor cover, and then we can simply install the connect module which we would now do quickly. To do this, we loosen the four fastening screws. Of course, the motor cover can always differ slightly from manufacturer to manufacturer, so you always have to see for yourself how the motor cover is fastened, and how you can remove it. Here with the KTM, it is relatively simple with the four screws. Of course, keep these well and don't lose them. So that you can mount them again at the end. Then we have two more screws on the other side. For this kind of work, it's always good to raise the bike a bit. Of course, we have a proper assembly stand, if you don't have one, you can put it on a park bench or on a slope. Where you can get to the parts a bit easier. And with less strain on your back. We have already done it this way. Just put it here on the stand, and then unscrew the motor cover. Of course, it's a bit uncomfortable on the floor, but it works in the end. Then we remove the motor cover, and now we have the free motor with the various connections, where we can now take a look at connecting the connect module. Now that we have removed the motor cover and have a mess of cables in front of us, we can get down to the business of connecting them. The connect module is simply connected between the display and the motor, which means we only need this short display cable, which we then connect in between. The display connection is marked in red, so we have to check which socket it has. In this case, or always with the Performance Line CXGEN4 Smart System motor. It is the first, right hand, upper socket next to the large battery cable. We can then simply pull it out of the motor, if possible, of course, grab the plug here at the front, so that you don't pull the cable. And then we see that it's the same color, we've got the right cable. Then we can plug the new short cable back into the socket, which has become free. Make sure that you also plug this white marking into the white marking on the socket at the upper end. This way the polarity will always match. The next thing we need is the connect module itself. The connect module has two connections marked 1 and 2. And we plug the short display cable that we just connected into the first slot. Here you can see that there is a small white marking at the top as well. So it's easy to say that white always goes with white. Which ensures that the connection always works perfectly. Plug it in firmly you will notice a little resistance. And then it will sit securely without any problems. Then we can plug in the second cable, which comes from the display, so to speak. The same procedure white to white until the small resistance is overcome. And the connect module is connected to the e-bike. Now we just have to make sure that it is integrated neatly. Now we take the rubberized stopper the connect module holder and simply insert it here at the bottom into this recess. Which fits perfectly into this rounding of the housing. We can just insert it and then it will hold so we don't have to screw anything in. The rubber also makes it a bit flexible. There is a tiny slot in this recess that fits the connect module perfectly. So we can first insert the holder. 
and then the connect module itself. Now we have to be a bit careful that we get the cables laid reasonably well without causing a prominent kink. That's a bit of a challenge. Now we can mount the connect module directly on the frame, in the appropriate hole. Other manufacturers use a mounting plate. In that case, it would have to be fixed to the mounting plate. If you put it in the holder like this, you will automatically see where the holder goes, and where it can be mounted. Now we have laid all the cables quite neatly. Sometimes you may have to unplug the other cables, for example, the light cable or the battery cable, to lay them differently. In this case, however, it fits well so far. And we can start here and mount the whole thing with the supplied screw and the Torx screwdriver. Again, make sure that all the cables are laid reasonably well. This works wonderfully here. And now we can screw the whole thing in place. Now make sure that you don't squeeze any cables. Otherwise, you'll have another problem. Make sure that the cable is correctly positioned in the recess and then hand tighten it so nothing can wobble. Now the connect module is mounted on the frame. The cables are laid, everything is connected. And in the next step, you only have to mount the motor cover again. When mounting the motor cover, make sure that all cables are inside the motor cover and are not squeezed. As this varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. Now, of course, we also have to place the connect module safely there. In our case, however, there is enough space and we can do this without any problems. Check everything again to see if everything is secure and tighten it if necessary. Now the physical installation directly on the motor is done. I think somewhat experienced mechanics can do this in 10 to 15 minutes. But it is also a manageable task for e-bikers, who rarely work with tools. Now start the e-bike flow app and have another look at all the options there. Under settings, we now have activate e-bike alarm available. We click on it activate e-bike lock and alarm. Now something is already happening on the display. And we have heard a short sound, so the connect module is already making noises. E-bike is locked now appears on the display. E-bike unlocked. Then we can press finish setup here. And the whole thing would be set up and ready to go. When we switch off the e-bike, it locks automatically, and when we are near it with our mobile phone and switch it on, it is unlocked. And we can start writing as usual. Whether the whole thing will work like that. We'll have another look outside again. Where we can also do a few more tests. When the cameraman starts to lay his hands on my e-bike. How loudly the alarm will really sound. And whether I get the notification on my mobile phone.